Hello everyone and welcome back to some more of Ark Survival Evolved. So for today I've got a bit of a grindy episode in mind, or at least be grindy for me, hopefully for you it'll be nice and snappy. And that is that Blue had gifted me a, where is it, a primitive mining drill and even just a primitive one is actually really expensive as you can see right here. It's mostly the black pearls I'm looking at, but let me tell you, I've had some right struggles getting those and I'll go more into detail about that later. But either way, so, uh, Blue Tail had utterly convinced me I wasn't gonna use this until Genesis, or maybe a little bit earlier, like Extinction, I was gonna hold myself off. And this is just really vastly superior to my high level imprinted and color source. This gets so much more metal, a regular primitive one than anything I have. So I'm thinking, like I said, it's a black pearls I'm looking at. I want to upgrade this and I want to try Upgrade it to Ascendant, maybe Mastercraft if I can't afford it. And yeah, this is the part where it's going to get very expensive and where it's going to become quite the grind. So, let's uh, just go ahead then and thankfully I can see all of the uh, costs in there. So, let's just go ahead and bring in all of the pearls. Get all of the ingots, all of the organic polymer, the crystal, and the paste, which thankfully... <laughs> now, paste is the one thing I definitely have in abundance. I'll grab the regular stuff for now, but as you can see, got a lot of actina paste. Right, so, hopefully I get really lucky and I get bonus upgrades, because remember, our version of the upgrade station is very nerfed, and we get a higher chance of failure and a smaller chance of bonus upgrades, so it's entirely possible that this will just fail entirely. Oh well, that's a great start already, so I got um, less materials, which, you know, considering it's only ramshackle, I really hope I get that again later. Let's just take that out for now then, just so we can keep track of each progress. I now need 300 or 289 black pearls. That's definitely the thing I'm going to struggle on. Apprentice. Ooh. Now I need 819 just to get to journeyman. But I did get another proc. That's actually really, really lucky. So another uh, resource cost reduction. So I saved 25% and I now need 2,320. And a lot more metal as well. My God, I'm out of metal. Well, it's a good thing Natomi's in a mining drill to get more metal, but you think, right? Like I said, <gasps> 2,300 pearls and that's only Mastercraft. So again, this is where things are gonna get really, really grindy. So I'm going to start off with the easier part of the grind, and that is definitely not because I'm procrastinating and dreading the hard part of the grind. So, now that I've got a Mastercraft one, I think before I was getting about 800 metal, I'm not entirely sure about that, about 200-300 metal with an Ankylosaur, and I think it was about 5-800 metal with a drill. I could be really off on that one, but it was dramatically more. This time round, or oh, 870. I get. I, I think I got my numbers wrong then, because I remember it being a much greater difference that, or I'm probably using up a lot of materials for not a lot of gain. But it's also, I, I kind of just want to. It'd be really cool to have like a big Ascendant mining drill, especially because I'm not going to be able to get a pre-made Ascendant mining drill until all the way into Gen 2. And that is obviously... Is it Gen 2 or is it Gen 1? Wait, no, I think that's a Gen 1. Yeah, it is Gen 1. Oh my god. That's better then. It's a little bit closer, but still you know, a long way away. So I needed, I think it's about 20,000 metal just to get to Mastercraft. And so far I got 2,600. Right, well, this is where things are going to be a little bit grindy. Well, you know what? Since we're just sitting here farming, I think now would be like a nice little time to chat because I don't really do that much in my videos, do I? I've seen a lot of other YouTubers where they do like to keep all the farming bits in and just, you know, have a little conversation. And sometimes it can be quite charming, whereas I do, you know, jump cut a lot. So you do miss a fair bit. I mean, it's just, you know, mining. I'm just getting metal. But perhaps now would be like a good time to talk about the future. So I would admit, as of recording this, I have actually already done Tech Cave. And you probably noticed a couple of uh, funky new items in my base. Now, that video is coming out very, very soon, of course. Um, I've only postponed it because I was such a big focus on boss battles, such a big focus on progression, progression, progression. Not really enough, like, fun little things in between. So I did decide that, okay, you know what? It'd probably be a nice idea to break it all up a bit, give a bit of a break from it, a bit of a refresher, do some silly activities like patron challenges. The Seagull one in particular was great and it was really fun reading the reactions on that one. Uh, I don't think Loki really expected me to do like a giant swarm. I don't think anyone expected a giant swarm. It's a shame that uh, the Hesperaunas, I just don't know what to do with those because they don't produce golden eggs in a vivarium, not while we currently have harvesting disabled. 
or resource generation only egg generation for now point being is i don't know what to do with them <laughs> but that's getting off topic we're talking about the future so tech cave is indeed finished and as i've mentioned since the very beginning whenever i complete alpha ascension of each map it is time to move on to the next map and i will be very very soon beginning scorched earth and can i just say i'm so so excited it's gonna be a lot of fun starting again from scratch ish i mean I'm gonna have my character obviously and I'm gonna keep everything in the same cluster, same um, progression. Again, as a whole, you know, progressing through the entire game arc. But either way, I'm really looking forward to it. The plan's going to be to drop in um, just naked, basically. Might as well get the crystal while I'm here, actually. God, that's a lot of crystal. <laughs> that's incredible, the amount of crystal. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna drop in uh, naked, no tools, no dinos. Just for the very beginning, same for Aberration as well. Because those maps are absolute treasures. If you've never experienced them, they really are worth experiencing, you know, totally from scratch. But it is nice to have a character that's already got the levels, already got like the basic stats, especially because, uh, whew, Squatched Earth gets a little bit spicy, especially the temperature situation, you know, desert. I really can't get this one here, can I? Oh, there we go. And I'm dehydrating. So the big main point that I'd like to make then, not only am I starting it soon, but also that things should start speeding up now. I'm gonna, again, focus more on like lots of little fun activities. I'm not just gonna go hard and hard on bosses all the time. So I won't rush to Manticore, but I do wanna make sure that you can all, oh, whoops, <laughs> that you can all, you know, come play soon. I am too encumbered. I need to put my drill on again so I can do this. I do love the uh, weight reduction when you're holding the drill, and I love how it actually counts when you're mounted as well. I used to think that was like a visual glitch for the longest time, not that it was an actual feature. Kill those, and kill you. Excellent. Yeah, so progression should overall be just a little bit speedier. That way everyone can have fun, join the server, and as a reminder, if anyone who's a patron or subscriber can join these servers, uh, you can join early if you're a patron. But yeah, currently there's been so many people playing lately. I think on average between 14 to 18 players online at a time, which is wonderful for us. This is a lot more than we've ever really had before. And I really want to make sure that uh, everyone's playing at different paces. Some are already doing their own ascension progression. Others are, you know, really taking their time, just, you know, kind of taking it in. Some are brand spanking new. And I just want to make sure that no one has to wait, you know, horrifically too long for the next maps. Thankfully, the island was always going to be the hardest part because, you know, start from scratch. Everything's brand new, got absolutely no basis to work with. And of course, in my personal opinion, Tech Cave is probably one of the hardest encounters in the game. I've not actually done Master Control yet, and I don't actually know what the Gen 2 boss is either. But the island Tech Cave, I mean, it's really overseer. The Tech Cave itself is really something, and uh, you'll see a lot more about that later. Trust me, you do not want to miss that video. Even if you're there in the live stream, you should still come over and, you know, watch that video when it's available, just relive all the lovely details. It'll definitely be worth it. But as I said, Eve and I will be beginning Scorch Death and Aberration somewhat naked. I will end up bringing things over as soon as the grind kicks in because I still want to have fun, right? I still want to really have fun. I've done the whole segregated playthroughs before. Not again. I'm going to take advantage of what I've earned here and utilize it in the next map. How much metal do I have so far then? I've grinded up, um, or not grinded, drilled up 5, 10, 15, 19,000 raw metal and I needed 20,000 ingots just to get to Mastercraft. So I'm going to carry on with this bit then and jump cut it because I'm sure we've probably seen enough drilling. <laughs> you can only handle so much in one go. But uh, oh god, as you can see though, this is going to be worth the upgrade. I tell you what, I brought so much metal back home that I'm actually having to use these decorative forges for the first time since I ever put them down. <laughs> as good as the industrial forge is, it's not going to cook through 30,000 metal that quickly and I need to get more. I need to get loads and loads more, so... My goodness, it's time to finally use the rest of the forges just to try and <laughs> speed things up a bit and, you know, might as well get a bit of charcoal in the process. So I patiently waited overnight and I should now have a good supply of metal ingot. So just quickly check the, uh, yep, I think that about cut what I need for now, at least for Mastercraft. Uh, I don't think I'll be going for a send enough rule, but we can just really hope that I get a proc. Now the next stage of the game is Black Pearl Farming. And after yesterday's crafting, I left myself with 539 
And I do need about 2300, I think, somewhere over the 2000 mark. So regarding black pearl farming, I did do a bit of farming in advance during some live streams and I had some very, very mixed results. So I tried using a shiver of Megalodon's bread for me by Blood Reaper. And because it's really only the bleed I need, I leveled them all straight into HP. That way it could tank as much damage from the alphas and the bleed would do all the work. And they were very effective. They did mow down a Mosul quite nicely. The second two so I killed on stream, I lost a cache almost under a rock after a very long time of finding and searching for it. It had 20 seconds left before I finally found it partially embedded in a rock. I was able to get it just in time. So that was about 75 black pearls that I nearly lost. I was then pointed to a level 200 alpha mosasaur inside one of the sea caves and again I did lose the cash for this one. I just could not find it anywhere. And then following that another alpha two so kill. This one grabbed the shark I was riding and pushed us through the boundary wall causing it to utterly delete my shark and my otter. Somehow I teleported back within. I didn't even realize it happened. All I noticed was I was suddenly dismounted and I panic mounted another shark. It wasn't until afterwards that I realized all of my pearls were missing because they were stored on the shark I was riding. So in the end, I lost about uh, just shy of 400 pearls, but the chat was very encouraging for me to spawn the pearls back in. I did lose an ascendant fishing rod and all the apex items, but I can live without that. So after the stream and in my own time, I decided to go my old method of searching with the Diplocolus and then damaging two sides with my Basilosaurus and finishing my Thylacaleo. And then for the Alpha Mosasaurs, just killing them outright with my Thyla. But the tricky thing is though, is that there just aren't very many Alphas in general and I would like to get Mastercraft status on the mining drill, but there's just not very many Black Pearls and there's a lot of server competition. So I had a bit of a theory last night and I'm wondering, where's my trailer? But right, so Flimba was the only female one and she's been spayed. So what about the Dark Age Roomba? That's the only other Roomba. <laughs> of course, it's stuck in a bloody replicator. That's the only other one that isn't actually leveled. You are actually stuck. Oh God, da hold on. Of course, of course this is what happens. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Can I just like grab? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> How typical, right? Because the other male Roomba is fully bred. Or fully leveled, sorry. It's fully leveled. Right, this one. Let's go ahead and grab you then. How does this keep on happening? You're like inside the Dude, these Diplos. I've got a barrier. I've got a giant wall. They still find a way in my bloody taming. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, my first ever clone, and I'm going to try and clone a level 10 trilobite. Let's see then. Can I clone you? No, wait, hold on, please. No, come back, don't wander. Quickly disable that, okay, good, and back, clone. There we go. I'm so used to using the um, S plus one. I didn't realize it's actually how you use the vanilla one, but I wanted the vanilla one. That way it, you know, looks nicer. Right, and I now have my clone, which, oh, yep, it does have the colors as well. Not like the colors really matter, but I may as well have, you know, a colorful clone. Now, next stage in the game is to see if I can change its gender and have it breed with its own clone. I'm sure there's a, uh, a lot of ways we could describe this situation. Right. Actually, you're male, you're, wait, it's female. Okay, cool. That's just going to save me 10 element. <laughs> right. Let's go ahead and breed them immediately. So let's see then. Will you two actually breed? No, it's not looking like it. Right, I was afraid of that. Um, what if you both are wandering? Hold on. Stick to wandering, stick to wandering. No, no difference. So they are supposed to be breedable due to one of the mods we have called Dynafixes, but maybe it's a bit of a display bug where it thinks it's a female, but it isn't. I don't know. But what I will quickly do then, at the very least, is I will stick some elements in here and I will change to allow breeding pulps. And hopefully that can convince them to, you know, get down on it. <gasps> it worked! Yes! Excellent! Now I just have to hope that uh, that spun over there doesn't get involved. <laughs> Imagine that. Right, and they are finished mating, and it is a gestation. Right, I thought so. Cool, I got five minutes. So, the reason why it's a gestation, for those who might not be totally familiar with the S plus mutator, is that it's not supposed to breed, right? And they can't generate, and the mod hasn't generated new eggs and such, so it just makes everything gestate. Even the things you wouldn't think would gestate, they will, like, like titanosaurs, they, they will gestate. 
but some creatures like titanosaurs don't have a baby mesh and that means that when they're done gestating they pop out a fully grown variant of themselves so I'm kind of hoping that is what happens with a trilobite. I'm hoping I don't have to worry about the whole maturation phase because if I do, I'm going to put like another 10 element and I'd rather not go through all of my elements. But if it does pop out fully matured, then that means I can immediately move on to the next phase of the plan. Meanwhile, let's get Rumba back out and you can resume your life of eternal wandering. Hmm. Okay, I didn't hear anything for that let's go take a quick little look i don't see anything underneath either oh no i didn't just breathe out for nothing did i <laughs> i mean i didn't really use a lot of uh, elements i'd say about 14 elements in the end but i'd really you know would like i'd really love for this to actually work so if i go into here quickly uh it did not work oh no Okay, so let me explain while I was doing all this then. I thought I was having a really massive big brain moment. Um, I was really hoping that uh, by breeding the trilobites, I could make a farm of them because trilobites, they don't drop their pearls. They are farmed, they are harvested. It's part of their flesh, their body. And Dipicolas do massive damage to trilobites and harvest extra pearls from them. So I was really, really hoping that if I could get this to work and if it would drop pearls from tamed corpses, from babies or fully matures or whatever, I was hoping I could make a farm and uh, get like a massively melee level Dipicolas to farm all of the baby trilobites and just get a crap ton of pearls that way. But alas, even with the S plus mutator, it just, it will not breed, or at least it did breed, it, it had a good time, it just wouldn't produce. So, oh, damn, that's such a sh I thought I was being really clever. Oh well, back to more alpha farming, yay! Actually, before I give up entirely, so I do now have this useless clone I'm not going to use, and thanks to Bud Reaper, I do actually have an Ascendant Chainsaw that he crafted up. So this is going to be a little bit heartless, but this would really, really, really be like worth finding out. Uh, that is definitely a clone, yes. Okay. Let's just do that. And on average, you get about one, maybe up to three Black Pearls by harvesting it with a Trilobite with a uh, Dipicolus. Ah. Uh, it's a minuscule amount, you get six. So alternatively, if I'm <laughs> really unable to find alphas, I could try and find um, groups of trilobites. They have to be on land though. Or I could just keep on cloning them. Um, how much element do I, oh, let's check this way actually. I did get a fair bit of oil from that. <laughs> and regular pearls, not gonna, and chitin. All right, I actually got like a fair amount of other resources. I was only paying attention to the actual black pearls. In terms of element, um, I've got, I have an amount and it takes about, I think it was four element per clone. Yeah, I think I'm going to be trying a multitude of methods for this. Okay, so while we are all about the testing, I'm going to check out this brand new Dipicolas, which is uh, one of the higher melee ones I have, unleveled. I'm going to call you the Tiny Terror. I am going to take out a baby character. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and mount up on you and let's just quickly dino kill okay so tiny terror now has a lot of uh, levels to put up 56 wonderful and what i want to know is using another clone if i just chuck the trilobites here for a second and i mean since it's got the stamina it'll give like a little bit of extra health and otherwise unclaim you so we've got six from the chains on, and on average three from a regular, you know, wild kill with the Piccolas. This give me one. Right, okay, give me a lot more chitin, so... Mmm, it might have been randomised. I mean, that is definitely a valid thing. Yeah, I got more chitin. I got a lot less oil, uh, a lot less pearls. Okay, okay, right. I don't think it's worth using the Piccolas's then. Yeah, I think I'd have to stick with the chainsaw and just do it that way. So after live streaming a couple of more alpha kills, I had an idea to try and make a propagator and see if maybe I could clone a bunch of trilobites and breed them this way. And while it did cost me about 500 elements, I think, I was able to get quite a few baby trilobites and actual physical working ones this time. So now if I go check my hatchery and get all of these weird looking eggs hatched up, I've left this breeding for uh, about two, three evenings. However, oh, is it not? Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> I was very worried they were going to stay there. Oh, but I come out fully matured. That's really great. That's going to save me a lot of effort. In fact, I kind of wish I didn't just claim them all now. Oh, well, that's okay. So now if I go check in here, I've got, um, yeah, a good 100 or so trilobites. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. And it's going to take me oh, a while to take all these out. Right, well, that's the first batch, so I guess I'm just going to take a quick little moment then. And oh, why do I have to click so many times for this? <laughs> They're just trilobites. Oh, God. Okay, that's the first batch. Now let's just see how much I actually get from this. And here goes the second batch. Followed by some more chainsawing. And now I do the third batch. And that is the fourth wave of trilobites now completely done. <laughs> I really underestimated how long it would take to kill and harvest about um, 111 trilobites in the end. But I did get quite a respectable amount of resources. Oh my god. 674 black pearls. That is the equivalent of six alpha mosasaurs and one alpha tuzo on top of uh, nearly 10,000 oil, 5,800 silica pearls, uh, several lots of thousands of chitin. I gotta say, that is really surprising. Jeez, and here I thought that, uh, you know, farming trilobites would be a bit of a meme, but that was actually really, really good. Now, of course, I do have to emphasize that it did cost me a couple of hundred elements to even get that much in the first place, and I had to clone all these as well. All of the trilobites themselves were given to me by various people in the community, and the chainsaw was given to me by Blood Reaper. So, you know, a bit of a team effort went into this, but in the end, <laughs> it's a bit of a try-hard method. But after how many issues I've been having uh, trying to kill alphas in the oceans and losing their caches, or even losing my teams due to them getting gripped by two, so through the zone boundary, this was actually not too bad. Um, how much elements do I actually have left over in the end? I have, uh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, I did go through quite a fair bit. I got enough to last me for a while, but... Ooh. On the plus side, that is actually a legitimate Black Pearl farm. I'll be damned. Now then, for the entire reason I've been doing all these silly shenanigans in the first place, and my god, it does not really feel like that great of an idea in retrospect. I really underestimated the sheer effort. And I need to emphasize that there is really no other better way to farm Black Pearls on the island. Black Pearl generation doesn't really pick up until Aberration, and... Uh, <laughs> I did I did the best I could. <laughs> oh, oh yay, I got a discount, I still have a thousand pearls left. So, just for the fun of it, it would take me 5,600 black pearls, 74,000 metal ingots, 22,000 crystal, and I've already got all the paste and all the polymer, thankfully. Yay, it's it's done. <laughs> it's done, it's, it's Mastercraft. I'm not doing all that again for Ascendant. But I do feel like I've now just created a new way to um, pattern farm black pearls because the entire thing I wanted in the first place when I was first using the S-Plus Mutator was to see if I could, you know, AFK farm it. Kind of like the penguin farm, but one that actually works. And the fact that they come out fully mature is actually really, really good. So I do wonder then that someday I could do some bit of experimenting and just find out then if there's um, anything that would actually do like really great harvesting on a trilobite because the Dipicolus, while it does one shot them very effectively, it doesn't have any bonus to harvesting. Um, maybe like a Therosina would be really good, but I don't think anything's gonna top a chainsaw. Which by the way, I should actually emphasize, the chainsaw's 258% weapon damage, which means that when I go to Scorched Earth, I could get a lot better. Right. Well, that was a long-winded episode just to get a <laughs> Mastercraft mining drill. But I really hope that you appreciate the journey. I hope you appreciate the tenacity. That was a good bit of fun felt um, severely overkill, but that was actually quite fun to just try and knock it out and figure it out. So as always everyone, thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you learned a couple of things in the process, and as always, I'll see you all again next time. Cheers!